So a while back, someone commented on the fact that my house is pretty simple and asked me for a talk about living a simple life and what it means to me. I'm very happy to do this. Um, now I will say that my tendency is to not like simplicity. Like I like to have nice things, you know, live in a comfortable house, make good food. Um, definitely I love traveling to beautiful places. Um, I can think of many more examples. Um, so I often have to remind myself or be reminded that living simply is part of what it means to follow Jesus. And why is that, you might ask? Jesus tells us to love our neighbor as ourselves. Um, and so if you live a life of luxury and take more than you actually need for yourself, um, that kind of says something about where your priorities are. Um, of course, the question of what a person needs isn't cut and dried. And if you take a moralistic or legalistic approach to simplicity, it's super deadly and very depressing. Take for example, ice cream. Is it necessary? Um, probably not, but life without ice cream would be really sad. I mean, imagine you can't get that soft ice cream twist on the hottest day in July. I mean, come on, that would really suck. Um, anyway, but there's this story about St. Francis who was the ultimate in simplicity. Um, apparently he was really hungry and he ate a little, um, I think it was a chicken. But then afterwards he made one of his brothers tie a rope around his neck and drag him through the city shouting, behold the glutton who has grown fat on the meat of chickens which he ate without your knowledge or permission. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that's kind of overdoing it. I mean jeepers. <laughs> I guess I look at, more, at it more of a matter of conscience. If I look at the rampant poverty, hunger, homelessness, even close to where I live, there's no way I can say I love my neighbor if I'm occupied with accumulating for myself. Um, for the very reason that it's unrealistic to end poverty on a large scale, um, those of us who want to live for God's kingdom of justice need to demonstrate in our daily lives that we're on the same side of those who have less. And I definitely don't think that this is just an option. I actually believe that accumulating a lot of wealth is a sin. Um, it's pretty simple if one reads the good word. So how do I live simply? Um, for one thing, I don't shop, at least hardly ever, which to some people probably seems like a luxury. But what it means is that I don't deal with like a huge amount of choice. So like when I need shoes for running, I just put in a request for running shoes with my size um, without specific um, specifying brand or style. They're not bad, right? <laughs> For another thing, um, since I know I could be asked to move to another apartment or even another community location, I keep the amount of stuff in my house, like books, toys, art supplies, pretty limited. I try to, but I have to often do like these big like throw out sessions. <laughs> um, oh, and of course the apartments aren't exactly um, palatial. Um, they're very functional. I spend most of my downtime locally in nature, so not a lot of trips to the city, um, although I don't think a visit to the Met or MoMA or the Whitney counts as a luxury, you know, even though it might be for some people. Restaurants, um, hardly ever, although if anyone's going for Thai, please let me know. And international travel is pretty minimal. So for some people, this might sound very boring, and to them I will say, um, if you've been paying attention to what's been going down in this country in particular with the civil um, strife and unrest around racial and economic injustice, um, I think you'll agree that more is required than just simply tweeting out a BLM hashtag or making a performative Facebook post to demonstrate that you're an ally. Um, people talk about dismantling privilege, which is good, um, but what it means in practice is giving up things you like to have. Um, out of love and in solidarity with others. As I read somewhere recently, you can't choose justice and the status quo. Otherwise, it's all just happy talk, which isn't worth much. And also, if you're a follower of Jesus, living simply is really just a matter of obedience. Um, so I hope you're all staying safe and thanks for watching.